Um, today I'm going to be talking about herbal plants and how they're used as medicine. So first I'm going to be talking about the background on herbal plants and the effects of the benefits and the effects that we have in our body. So a little bit of background is um, over time through history we've always used plants and there was never really any type of thing called Tylenol or as like aspirin. So um, herbs have been used as remedies and have been passed down from generation to generation and each generation adding a new mix and conclusion to better the remedy. So different cultures, different cultures and different regions in the world use certain plants a different way and um, their, the traditional plant would be an herb. I'm gonna be talking about three main herbs, and the first, and they are chamomile, garlic, and aloe vera. So according to um, the National Library of Herbs, there's 75 to 100 different types of herbs, and According to the National Library, the three most common herbs are chamomile, garlic, and aloe vera. So I'm going to be talking about the effects. I mean, like, yeah. So chamomile, um, there are two types of chamomile. There's Roman and German, and they do almost the same thing. And chamomile is like, um, it's a flower. So it's usually like a, has white petals and then it's a flower and you can either um, use it as a tea. Most people use it as tea. And the remedy is for, so like you feel like sleepy or something like that, or you feel anxious. Um, they usually, it's a remedy for sleepiness, anxiety, and gastrointestinal conditions. So like an upset stomach, gas, and diarrhea, and also mouth ulcers. Another, the other, um, herb I'm going to be talking about is garlic. So garlic helps lower levels of high blood pressure, also reducing the risk of arthritis. So garlic could be used either in teas or it could either be used in all the foods that we eat that usually contain garlic. And, um, and the last one is aloe vera. So usually you don't really make aloe vera as a tea, or you can drink it underneath, but um, usually rub this herb onto your skin, and it's used for treating sunburns, deep sur surgical wounds, and also abrasion. And <clears throat> as an enthusiast of herbs, and I use herbs a lot, I feel like I'm, like I know that like I use herbs and stuff. Um, so I was going to talk about how, like, now in society, we, we're more thinking green and we're thinking more about our bodies. So there's a lot of diseases going on, like, well, not diseases, but like, it's getting worse and there's diabetes, cancer. So, um, 90% of the population in Africa, well, according to a book, called Herbs Biometric and Clinical Aspirations, the second edition, talks about how 90% of the population in Africa and 70% of India use herbs and traditional med remedies to help their needs and medical conditions. So a lot of the population does use herbs to help treat them and make their lives better. And most people result to using um, Tylenol and stuff like that, but now that our environment is changing more, we're, we're trying to use more natural things. A lot of people result to like juicing, people like to do diets, so rather than just always putting chemicals in your body, like Tylenol and stuff like that, some people result to using natural herbs that could do almost the same thing, but it's more natural and better for your body. And that was according to the Huffington Post by Dr. Patricia Fitzgerald explains how 
there's how the benefits of herbs are better than using actual um, Tylenol or any of the drug medicines, but not only that, it's because Tylenol and also other medication that people use, like who have cancer that need chemo, not necessarily need just herbs, but other things too. But in conclusion, um, I hope that I informed you more about herbs and the use of them. <coughs>